Lifetime is brought to you by Natural Calm, all the power of magnesium. It has been decades now since laser eye surgery was first developed. But eye specialists continue to tweak the procedure to make it safer and produce better results. Tonight, Pauline Chan shows us the latest technique. Pauline. Thanks very much, Ken and Christine. It is called blended vision. It was just approved in Canada last summer, and it aims to eliminate some of the difficulties that accompanied previous laser surgery techniques. 59-year-old Roland Wilk is an amateur musician who had to use a different pair of glasses for each instrument he plays. I play French horn, clarinet, bassoon, and each one, I've got a pair of glasses in each case. So I'm always running backwards and forwards with different glasses. After doing some research, he came to Dr. Christoph Kranemann for blended vision, a new procedure to allow him to see clearly at a variety of distances. Current laser surgery techniques involve monovision, correcting one eye for near vision and the other for far. The problem was that some patients could not reconcile the two different images received by the brain. Also, 3D vision was lost. But in the blended technique, the difference between the two eyes is reduced, only 1.5 diopters instead of the customary three diopters. Roland is having blended PRK. We removed the, the very surface layer, the epithelium of his eye, and then the laser based on the own fingerprint of his cornea uh, removed the irregularities and imperfections. New sophisticated software for the laser analyzes minute imperfections on an individual's cornea and shapes it so the area that's been treated is not so sharply defined, reducing the halo effect some patients complain about. One really good thing about this is it will also give patients really good intermediate vision. The blended vision technique can also be used with LASIK patients in which a flap of the cornea is cut and lifted back. The patient is sent home with antibiotic drops to be used in the first 24 hours and anti-inflammatory drops to be used for 10 days if they've had LASIK surgery, a few weeks if they've had PRK. Nimet Dalwani says blended vision has made a big difference in her work as a dental hygienist. It's really changed my life. I can see so good. My husband hates it because I see a little dust in the house, but hey. <laughs> Typical risks of laser eye surgery include infection and improper healing, but Dr. Craneman says this procedure is better tolerated than monovision with a 97% acceptance rate. For the 3% who can't manage the change in their vision, he recommends changing one eye so that both are either for distance or near viewing. Now the procedure is considerably more expensive than other traditional techniques, $3,200 per eye. It's been available in Europe for a couple of years, but the technique is so new here in Canada that there are only three Canadian clinics that are currently equipped to do blended vision. And remember, not everyone is a candidate for laser eye surgery. With today's Lifetime, I'm Pauline Chan.